everyone, this is FaZe and welcome to my channel. I am a lover of EVs and if you've been following me for a while on my channel then you probably already know that. But one of the first questions that I receive from anyone that's going from an internal combustion engine car to an electric vehicle is, is it true that Teslas, or any EVs for that matter, don't require maintenance? Well in short, the answer is no. No maintenance is required, but there is an asterisk that I would like to place next to that no. So I'll give you a rundown of all the costs associated by owning a Tesla and the maintenance that you will technically have to do to keep up with it. Even though there's no oil changes or services for the engine itself, there are a few things that you'll have to keep in mind. So let's talk about those things. Though electric vehicles may still cost more to purchase than their internal combustion engine counterparts, they're generally cheaper to keep running due to affordable home charging versus paying for gas. Electric vehicles also save their owners cash on an ongoing basis due to lower long-term maintenance costs. Now, that's primarily because EVs eliminate over two dozen mechanical components that would normally require periodic service. For example, an EV owner like me avoids having to pay for things like tune-ups, oil changes, cooling system flushes, transmission servicing, and replacing the air filter, spark plugs, and drive belts. In fact, electric vehicles owners spend only a third of what gasoline-based auto owners do for regular service. Aside from tire rotation, replacing the cabin air filter and wiper blades, and topping off the washer fluid, much of this comes down to various mechanical inspections. Automakers advise, and appropriately so, that aside from simple tasks like checking the air pressure in the tires, topping off the windshield washer fluid, and perhaps changing the wiper blades, these procedures should be performed by a trained technician at the dealer service department. As an example of what's typically required, let's take a look at Teslas. For the Model 3 and Y, Tesla recommends that you replace your cabin air filter every two years and for Model S and X, replace it every three years. This is so that you can prevent pollen, industrial fallout, road dust, and other particles from entering through the vents. If your vehicle is equipped with a HEPA filter, it is recommended that you replace it every three years. Also, you should check the tire pressure and adjust as necessary. Examine the tires for excess wear and be sure to check the windshield washer fluid and fill as necessary. For Teslas, every 6,200 miles or so, half the tires rotate it. Aggressive driving can lead to premature tire wear and may require more frequent tire service. Unbalanced and misaligned wheels affect handling, tire life, and steering components. And almost all EV manufacturers recommend testing your brake fluid for contamination every two years and replacing as needed. Air conditioning service will also be needed to replace AC desiccant bags for better longevity and efficiency of your air conditioning system. Now, depending on the vehicle you own, this can happen between every three to six years. Another thing to consider, especially during winter months, is that you can clean and lubricate all brake calipers every 12 months or so in cold weather regions. Now, affording less maintenance does not necessarily mean that an electric vehicle is bulletproof. EV owners will eventually need to replace the tires, have the brake serviced, and could be required to replace steering and suspension components hoses, headlamps, taillights, and so on. As with any other type of vehicle, a wheel alignment will be necessary as well if the car pulls to one side or is exhibiting uneven tire wear. And then there's an EV's battery pack to consider, which is by far its costliest component. All electric vehicle batteries will degrade over time and lose some of their ability to maintain a full charge, though this happens gradually. It's more of an issue with older EVs that could barely run 80 miles on a single charge than today's crop of 200, 300 mile plus models. At that, only a relative handful of electric cars manufactured to date have reportedly degraded to the point where they need to be replaced. Still, if you own an EV long enough, you'll see its range decline a little, and if it falls short enough to become an inconvenience, you may need to swap out the battery pack or treat the vehicle in for a new one. But other than that, if you look at the big picture, there's not much you need to worry about. All right, so that basically wraps up our video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you next time.